Today, I want to show you how to make multi-page patterns for large designs using CAD. Creating multi-page patterns are really important if you're going to be designing large leather goods where the pattern cannot fit on a single A4 page or on an A3 page if you have that size of printer. In this situation, you will need to print your pattern on a separate page like this, then join them together using either glue or scotch tape. This is going to give you the full size pattern in a very accurate and scaled shape that will be ready to apply to your leather. Or what I've done previously was to build a paper prototype of my design to first check that the pattern worked well before making it out of leather. The method to create multi-page layouts I will show today is the one that I've been using, but there may be other methods out there. Now, let's get started. The software I'm using today is NanoCAD, which you can get free from the link in the video description. These commands will also work if you're using AutoCAD. The pattern I will be demonstrating this process on today is of my handbag project, which is one I've been working on over a few videos already, which you can find a link to in the video description. The pattern for this body is quite large and requires multiple pages to print out. The first step is to draw in the size of the paper that we'll be printing on. In my case, it is A4 paper, for which the dimensions are 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters. With this rectangle, I can use the offset command to create an offset of 10 millimeters from each edge towards the middle, as the area closest to the edge of a page is not able to be printed by most printers. The A4 page outline is not needed anymore, so I can delete that now. What is left is the printable area for one page, and I can copy this area and make it a grid that will be large enough to fit my leather pattern. You can arrange the printable areas in portrait or landscape orientation, depending on what works better for your pattern. Next is to move the pattern onto the grid, making sure that it is completely within the combined printable area. You could also rotate the pattern if it helps you to get a better fit within your grid. The next step is to leave model space and go into the layouts at the bottom here. Right click, create a new layout and give it a name. Then under page setup, select page size and orientation the same as the grid, which for me is A4 page size and portrait orientation. Next, use the viewport function to draw a viewport which should be as big as the paper border. When prompted, enter the scaling value as 1, which will make the pattern print to scale. Double click the viewport and then find your first page and position it roughly in the middle. Double click out of the viewport, then select the viewport. Select the corners of the viewport and match them to be the rectangle, which is the printable area for our page. And now we can center the viewport in the middle of our page. This is the first page of the grid complete. This method will have to be repeated for the rest of the pages of the grid. You could also copy the first layout and modify it which may save you some time. Now we can go back into model space and we can add some features and markers to help us assemble this pattern once printed. On each of the pages, we can put a page number in a corner by using the text function so we will know the location of each piece. We can also add 
large letters which will help to arrange and align the pages together, like a puzzle. This can be done by placing a large letter or symbol on the edges or corners where multiple pages meet. This pattern is now ready to print and we can do this by going to the menu and first using the plot function to export the pages to PDF and then print them. This free version of NanoCAD does not have the batch plot function, so pages must be plotted individually. Next, when it comes to printing, make sure you select actual size so it prints to scale. These are the four pages printed out and ready to assemble. I will start by trimming off the border and joining two pages together, leaving one page with an overlapping strip. Then repeat the same for the other two pages and then join the halves together to get the full pattern. From here I can do a rough trim around the outline and now the pattern is ready to use. This pattern can be stuck onto some leather to cut out directly or it can be stuck onto some cardstock to first create a firm template and then be used to trace out a pattern onto leather using an awl. If you found this CAD pattern design video helpful, then please take a look at my other videos in this series, which you can find in the video description. If you have any questions or suggestions related to CAD or pattern making, feel free to leave it in the comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.